Hi right, guys, Dave Mad Max 6. I'm at Gold's Gym Venice, the Mecca. This is Muscle Beach TV with my good friend Lionel Brown, and I'm very excited to have him back on the show. Welcome to the show, Lionel. Hey, Dave. How you doing, man? I'm so good. I'm so good. And we just wrapped up a crazy quad session with you and Hide, and so I grabbed you. I said, hey, we need to do a Muscle Beach interview because you have some big plans coming up. Tell me what's going on for you right now. Well, we'll be just under two weeks for the Sacramento right now, so uh, I'm getting ready for that training really hard, extremely hard, uh, with uh, Charles Glass and uh, my training partner, Hide. So I'm, so I'm looking forward to it. You are very, very committed this year, and you're just picking up where you left off last year with Ari. We shot last year. You made tremendous progress. It didn't turn out the way you wanted the frig, no, but you were right on track. We, we saw each other just, I think, a week or two before, and you were tremendous. Uh, bad enough for Peter McGuff to actually post on your pictures. Remember that? Yeah, I remember. I remember when Peter uh, made that post. I thought I was like, "Wow," Whoa. you know, because you know Peter, you know, he followed me during my amateur career, you know, and he was uh, very supportive of me. He used to actually phone me and invited me to the Weeder offices one time just to hang out in there. Yeah. And when Peter uh, made that comment, I was extremely happy. And then when you see me a week before the show, and everything was right on target, and you know, it just kind of, kind of fell apart, man. Yeah. So it happens. His bodybuilding, right? I mean. Uh, but you just, uh, you know, you recommitted yourself. You said, you know what, I know what I did wrong. I'm going to fix it. And this year, you actually sort of moved in uh, partially, you know, to Venice because you're here every day. You're training at the Mecca every day at the same time with Charles and with Hide, and, and you're kicking ass in there. And uh, you're not uh, leaving any stone unturned this year. No stones unturned. You know, I committed to Charles. We, you know, I talked to him. You know, Charles, you know, I've known Charles for over 20 years, man. Knew me when I was a teenager. Grew up with my father. Um, he helped me actually turn pro in 06. I trained with him for a whole year during that time, you know, when I did the USA, took second, then he, you know, said, hey, you know, get back on the horse, and we went to the Nationals, and I picked up my pro card, and, you know, it's been a struggle on this pro level, but I, you know, I committed myself, you know, I, I believe in myself, and I, you know, I talked to Charles, and I was like, hey, man, you know, I'll do what it takes, I'll work extremely hard, you just give me the workouts, and I, I won't punk out, man, you know, I'm ready to go, so, Every you know challenge he gave me, you know I stepped up to it. I didn't let myself down. I asked myself after every workout when I would go home or when I was driving, you know, did I give it everything I have? Did I leave any stone unturned? I would answer all those questions, and and it was never, you know, me sitting up here trying to scratch my head because it's either you know I woke up with the you know analogy, either I'm gonna either I'm gonna do it right or I'm gonna do it wrong, and I choose to do it right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's obvious. W you've put on so much muscle this past year and this year. What was the big difference between, you know, these past two years versus, versus before? Because you, already, you already had some size, but literally you made some, some, some strides and, and a lot of miles, it seems to me, last year and this year. What, uh, what was the difference? Well, you know what? The difference was, you know, I was like, I mean, how am I going to get this right? Because I want to be a champion again, and what is it going to take? So it's like there's really – no off season. To be honest with you, off season is, is a good off season, not a bad off season. You have to eat the clean calories. Gotcha. You got to stay, on, you know, on target. You know, with your program, you got to allow the body to do what it needs to do with your training. You can't feed it junk and expect to sit up there and, you know, pr pr produce good results. And I remember um, Jay was up in there a few weeks ago, and I'm, he was talking to me and Dexter. He said, you know, in order to, you know, present or uh, produce a championship physique you really have to train almost a whole year of eating consistently good nutrition, and you have to train extremely hard for a whole year to produce a championship uh, physique. So uh, this is actually very key, what you just said, right? Because a lot of time, uh, you know, you hear off-season, and off-season for body, we kind of mean, eh, I'm, you know, I'm eating me three or four meals instead of six, and you know, maybe I'm skipping a here and there, traveling and stuff. But off-season is probably when you have the best chance to actually make all the products you need. So whenever you actually prep for that 12 or 14 or 16 weeks, the work's been done already. You just kind of refine it. Exactly. That's right. that's the, that's the proper analogy right there. Nice. And the key is just to be consistent with your training. You know, I'm like around guys like you know my big bro Dexter. He doesn't miss any training. He doesn't. He gets right off the plane and comes straight to the gym even before he'll go home. Sometimes just to train. He doesn't miss any training. So when you're around guys like that and you see their track record, it's like okay, how can I emulate this guy? Okay, this guy doesn't miss any training. He doesn't miss any meals. Mm -hmm. He doesn't believe in going out to eat at restaurants when he's getting it, you know, when he's in prep mode. He mm -hmm. cooks all his food at home. You so go. you got to pay attention to what these guys are doing. And I remember Melvin Anthony saying that, you know, a few years ago, 
got to pay. He said, I pay attention to what Ronnie was doing. I watched everything because he, he stayed with Ronnie for like a week, I believe. He said, I watched everything Ronnie did, man. How he took his vitamins, how he ate, how he did his cardio, you know, and he so consistent with his training. So that's what you have to pay attention to. These champions that are up there, watch what they're doing. Well, it's uh, how how fortunate do you feel that you actually have access to people like Dexter and Charles and Hide because that's got to be huge motivation for you. Yeah. Man, right. you know what, Dave? I, I feel very blessed to have those guys have access to them, and to you know, and when you get that chance, it's like, okay, I have to go all out because I'm not, I'm not gonna be no punk. Then I gotta sit up here and leave this gym saying, well, man, Lionel, you know, you don't train hard. No, I'm gonna fight with you. We're gonna spar together. We're gonna spar really hard. You gonna know I'm here with you. You gonna feel my, you know, pain just like I'm gonna feel your pain because we're gonna go through this together. You know, I'm not gonna skip anything. I'm gonna go through it too. Wow. Lionel, I'm very excited for you, man. I gotta tell you, I, I started getting excited for you. You know, we've known each other for years, and I've always thought you were, you know, a great bodybuilder, but this past two years, uh, you've shown some progress, like I said before, that, you know, we haven't seen you make, and I think it's just a matter of time before you put it together, and when you do, it's gonna be a hell of a problem for everybody else competing against you. I can tell you that. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not saying that because I'm talking to you. I've, I've seen you last year, and I was like, oh, my God. It was just, like, unbelievable. So I cannot wait to see you back on stage this year and see the progress you made. Best of luck to you, my friend, in two weeks. And then uh, I hope we talk again uh, with an Olympia qualification. Thank you, Dave. Always a pleasure, man. And uh, thanks for being supportive with me always, man. All right. <laughs> Dave Mad Max X from Muscle Beach TV with my good friend Lionel Brown. And good luck in two weeks, oh, Lionel. One more thing. You oh, guys, yeah. don't forget to check out my Instagram, at Brown. Pick up my new clothing line, Hog Life Training. Is that yours? Yeah, this is me oh, right nice, here. Nice, dude, man. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah I like the color. Training. Cool. This is a new color I have, baseball tees and the hats. It's got hoodies, you guys. Hey, where can hoodies. they get that? Do you have a website or just Facebook? Um, or I'm building on the website now, but you guys can email me, ltrainbrown onelb at gmail.com. Or go, you know, my Facebook or go on my Instagram, ltrainbrown, and um, just send me, you know, a message, and I'll get it out to you guys. All right, all right. That's very cool. Very cool. All right. Good to have you, Lionel.